Hey, what's up guys? Skylar here with a little behind the scenes video. So, it all started a few months ago after a long hard day of work I happened upon YouTube, apparently looking like I'm quarantined. I happened upon a Ben TK video that has some pretty cool effects, and I say to myself, those are some pretty cool effects, I bet I could probably recreate those, put my own little spin on them. So a few months later, what do I do? I create, don't press the turbo button. A harrowing little tale about a vacuum cleaner gone awry that ends up sucking me and everything else around me into it, just using After Effects. <sighs> so, aside from the usual video stuff, what will you need to make these effects work? One, a leaf blower, and I got this for about 20 bucks on Amazon, and it does a great job of making it look like wind is blowing through your hair or you're being sucked into a vacuum. Two, a mini vacuum, because you're getting sucked into a vacuum. Three, a green screen. Now I'm using this pop-up blue screen green screen, which is awesome because of how easy it is to set up, but it's still something that's taking me like 20 minutes to figure out how to fold up at the end. All right, so the first shot we're going to cover is this initial shot where everything first starts getting sucked into the vacuum. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your tripod up and then you're going to start layering everything in there shot by shot. I like to go with everything that's furthest back first and then start going closer and closer until finally it's you in the green screen. Now let's hop into After Effects. Alright, so we're going to start with just one object and I'm going to use the speakers as the example. And all you really need to do is take a freeze frame of the object, do a little mask around it, and then we're going to animate the position and rotation so it starts to actually animate off the screen, rotating as it moves to the side. Don't forget to set the origin point so that when it's rotating, it actually rotates in the right spot. And don't forget motion blur. Motion blur is super important for this. So next you're gonna wanna duplicate your speaker footage and then draw a mask around the reflection because you want the reflection in there. So then what I do is I put a Gaussian blur on the reflection and I animate that blur up as the speaker starts to move off the table. And then I animate the position of the reflection to move along with the speaker. And then I drop the opacity so that the reflection actually disappears as the speaker is moving off the table. Then you just have to do this with each one of your objects, and as you start to build it up, piece by piece, you'll eventually finish your shot. Alright, so now let's take a look at this nifty little shot where I'm actually flying across the screen. And this is pretty similar technique, except that we have some of these objects on the shot that are moving like the 3D objects. So let's take a look at how to do that. Alright, so like most of these shots, we're just going to start with our clean plate. I actually took some fishing line and just tied it to the blind to give it some movement. But then we're going to use a green screen, and this is where we're going to make our static objects look like they're 3D objects. So with the guitar, we're just going to give it some rotation. With the papers, we're just going to blow them across with a leaf blower, and then same with the chipotle bag. It's that movement behind the green screen that will really work to make it look like that 3D object. Next, we have to do me. I obviously should have set up the larger green screen, but I was feeling a little lazy, so that's why my legs aren't moving so much. And now into After Effects. So you can see we're animating me across. This is before I actually keyed everything out. Then we're going to add a little bit of pixel motion blur just to give it that extra motion blur. I shot at a higher shutter speed just to make it a little bit cleaner of a key. Same with the papers, we're going to animate them right to left, but keep them at the bottom of the screen so they actually go off screen. Alright, so after keying out the guitar, you're just going to animate the position from right to left. You're going to want to change the rotation so it looks like it's on its side being sucked into the vacuum. And then that movement in front of the green screen is what makes it look like a 3D object. You can see the side of the guitar moving into the back of the guitar, and that's really mimicking what you would get from a 3D object. So that's what's awesome about using this technique with green screens. It's really awesome if you don't have 3D animation software. All right, moving on, let's take a look at this sword shot. All right, so the first part where the sword actually comes up and at the screen. So what do we have? We've got our clean plate, then we've got this where I've actually got fishing line tied to the sword, and then I just lift the sword right up. And we're going to bring that in After Effects. All right, so once the sword actually starts moving towards the camera, that's when I start drawing masks and animating those masks around the sword to kind of isolate it. And then I'm going to use position, scale, to actually move the sword so that it's looking like it's coming right at the camera. And that's all you have to do with that one. All right, part two, where the sword animates across, hits into the wall, and sticks into the wall. All right, so we got our blank shot with no animations or effects. From within After Effects, you can see that we have the sword animating from right to left. It's just the side angle of the actual sword. If we isolate it, that's all it is. And it's just being animated from right to left. And then from this position, it just cuts into a different image of the sword at a different angle as it goes behind him. All right, so all I had to do for this part of the shot is I actually motion tracked the corner of the picture frame in the shot using the tracker in After Effects. 
Using the position and rotation properties, I applied those to a null object, and then I parented the sword to that null object to make it seem like it was actually sticking into the wall the way it was. Then aside from that, I took some other paper elements and other things that made it look like there was still a lot of stuff being flung at the vacuum cleaner and I added that into the shot, completing the sword shots. All right, and for the next shot style, we're gonna be looking at the actual objects being sucked into the vacuum cleaner and how we do that. We start off with nothing happening with our plane shot, bring that into After Effects, and then we've got all these objects being sucked into the vacuum. Let's start with a snowman and just kind of isolate him here. All right, so what I did with the snowman is I just animated the position, rotation, and scale to make it look like it is moving away from the camera and towards the vacuum. Had a little bit of a blur on it. And then when it gets really close to the camera, what I do is I use the puppet pin tool. I add a few pins and then I just animate it so it looks like it's actually being warped a little bit into the vacuum cleaner before I cut out the frame entirely and it just disappears. And then I just repeat with all the different objects. And what I did with the paper, which is a repeat asset that I've been using throughout all of this, is I just made it a 3D object. I oriented it towards the vacuum so that as the paper moves across, it looks like it's going right towards the vacuum. All right, so here we have these shots where I'm holding onto the couch for dear life, trying not to get sucked into the vacuum. How did I do these ones? Well, like all of them, I start off with a clean plate where I've got my roommate holding the vacuum in the background. And then I've got my shot of me holding onto the couch. And what did I use? My guitar amp because I didn't have any rope or wires to actually have someone pull on my feet, which I think would have looked a little bit more realistic. But I improvised, I used my guitar amp, and it came out pretty good. All right, and then I bring it into After Effects. And of course, there's all the other objects that are being animated across and being sucked into the vacuum, which I'm actually doing in the exact same way as the other shots. But for the part where I'm holding onto the couch, what do I do? Rotoscoping, which is animating masks frame by frame so that you're actually cutting yourself out of the shot and making yourself your own layer. And what do I like to do? I like to do a number of different masks to do different body parts because it's a lot easier than animating one big mask across your whole body. So I definitely recommend multiple masks when you're doing rotoscoping work. It definitely takes a while, but you can always just throw on some headphones, listen to some music, and then by the end of it, you'll probably be wishing you had just used a green screen. Actually, if I had done this again, I would have made my roommate his own green screen elements. I would have made myself my own green screen elements using something other than a amp to hold my feet up on, maybe get some rope and have someone hold me back so it looks more realistic and there's just some wires to remove. If I could do it again, definitely use some more green screen elements. But you know what? I think in the end, the shots came out pretty good. So finally, what I did is I rendered out the finished effects sequence and I put it back into After Effects. And then I did a wiggle expression on the scale, the position, and an exposure effect to kind of make it look like it was a bit more chaotic. All right, that's it. That is the behind the scenes look at how I made the effects in Don't Press the Turbo Button. Had a lot of fun making it, and glad I finally got around to doing this behind the scenes. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching how it was done, and now get out there and start making your own stuff. Cool. Peace, guys.